Medium USA Today bestselling author Hildy McQueen and I write medieval Highlander romance. So today I am doing a voiceover and the, the entire video is um, <laughs> sped up and mainly it's because I'm having problems with my voice and you guys know how my voice goes in and out and just starting to talk I've been trying to clear my throat and it's not really working so I decided I'm just gonna do a sped up version that way I still get a video up but and, and I don't know maybe you guys will like it better because you don't have to spend as much time listening to me talk <laughs> so I am doing the week of May 20th through May 26th and this kit is so cute. It's a lot of pink and the underlays are cupcakes. And no other reason that I use these underlays except for the fact that I'm almost out. And I'm waiting to get some more foiling paper so I can get them done, but to get some more made. But I thought it for sure it was gonna come in today and it didn't. So I'm gonna have to hunt through my underlays. So I have like a couple more, but they're like really weird patterns like Christmas and stuff. So. But I guess once I cover them up, for the most part, you can't see a lot. But I do like that some of the, what stands out, you can see what the pattern is, so. And cupcakes were not that far-fetched for this kit. Um, I think it was a day at home, and the kit is by Planner Shack. I'm pretty sure it was stay at home or something like that, so it's got like relaxing things and, you know, that you can do it indoors on a day off or whatever, so. I really like the kit. I am, let me see, so I got the week of, I'm trying to see how many weeks behind I am. <laughs> so this one ends on the 26th, so I have one more week of May, and then one, two, two weeks, so I guess I'm three weeks behind. So this weekend I was hoping to, to film three more weeks, but um, I might just do at least one more, one week of, um, what do you call it, uh, filming, at least one, because I also have a, um, a weekly challenge that I need to do, and I'll go ahead and film that. Yeah, so I guess I'll have, um, a few more and start catching up with you guys. I don't like being so far behind that I just, the last few, um, weeks I've been, and even now I have a writing deadline, so I've been doing a lot of writing to get that done, um, I think the month of June, is it the month of June? Yes, I want to write the book and finish it by mid-July, so I've been, I uh, have a pretty high word count every day that I am, uh, um, on goal and set to achieve. I am also taking a class. If you are a writer and need some kind of motivational, some, um, a way to set goals and keep track of your tasking, stuff like that, check out Sarah Cannon. I will link her YouTube channel down below, but they, she does a lot of amazing um, classes on writing and even if you're not a writer like on goal setting and stuff like that and she also does a little bit of planning but for the most part it's a lot of really good a lot of good motivational stuff for setting goals and accomplishing them so you should definitely try it out all right so let's get to the day by day on this week and like I said it's going to be a little bit sped up so hopefully I'll be able to keep my voice working for this um, entire video so on Monday it was the day that my aunt was leaving, and in Spanish, aunt is tía, so if you see that word T-I-A, tía, it means aunt. So it was the day that my aunt left, so we planned, I think her flight was around five o'clock in the evening, something like that. So we planned to um, go and drive halfway to Atlanta and meet what my daughter that lives in the Atlanta, north of, north of Atlanta. So she was gonna meet us for lunch, so so we kind of set the time up so that we could kind of get to this place and it's a um, market that's called farm view and they have the best peach cobbler oh my gosh all their food is so good they have mississippi pot roast fried chicken you know greens all kinds of stuff so i thought you know my um, nephew really got a taste for southern cooking so i thought let's go and so you can try it and we did we um actually went there and they enjoyed the time and then we dropped them off at the airport 
Uh, my daughter did meet us there, by the way, and then we drove back home and got home and relaxed because pretty much the whole day was gone then. And we watched um, Will Trent. I've been reading the books. I love the books. So I've been watching it. Really enjoyed the show. Uh, I finished the uh, two seasons, I think. So I enjoyed watching it. I might actually watch it again only because I think I missed some nuances because I was kind of too busy trying to compare it to the books and the show is totally different than the books by Karen Slaughter. I recommend both of them. I recommend the book and I recommend the show. Of course the books are better because books are always better but the show they did a really good job of um getting his uh, personality across and I really enjoyed it. I can't wait for the next season. I, I don't know when it's going to start, but I think, oh gosh, uh, is it on Hulu? I'm pretty sure I think it was on Hulu. So on Tuesday I did some admin work because, you know, I had to catch up on all the work that I didn't do the week before. I worked on some edits because I have gotten had gotten at this point a manuscript back from my editor and then I did laundry, I had a nail appointment, and then I went to Kato's because um, I've lost a lot of weight recently, so not, nothing fit me, <laughs> so I had to try and get a few things that would fit. I did some book journaling and watched, I started reading this book called Girl Alone. Actually, I think I was listening to it. In the first book, the narrator was amazing, and then the next the, the second book was narrated by a person that she did the voices, but when she was doing the, the narration, it was like, I swear, if it, if it wasn't for the fact that it was a real narrator, I would have thought it was a machine. <laughs> she had no inflection, no emotion, except when she did the different voices. Then she was good. It was so weird. So anyway, I listened to the first one and then not the other two. On Wednesday checked on reader groups and Facebook, um, reviewed my email, continued with my edits on the book called The Hawk, and then I YouTubed it. I don't know if I watched YouTube or I uploaded a YouTube. I don't know what it meant. I did some graphics for some promo stuff, and then I watched, that night I watched Will Trent again. A lot of the, um, I'm using a lot of pink so that this spread really makes me happy because I got to pull out all my pink icons except for Thursday then I pulled out like a pale yellow icon so it turned out I think the spread turned out really pretty and pastel looking so I really am um, like looking at it. Uh, Wednesday I did admin work and then I um am I on Wednesday? No, I'm on Thursday. <laughs> Duh. I started with some admin work. I and when I mean by admin work is I do a Facebook post, I um, check my email, review my sales stats, review my ad spend, you know, for any ads I do. Um, what else do I do? Um, answer, you know, any emails I have to do. And then if I have to do any kind of cross promotions, all that stuff, I check. And I'm usually done by 10 o'clock in the morning with all my admin work. And then I write from 10 to 2. It's set for Thursdays because on Thursdays I go out to lunch with some friends so I do what I can as far as writing before uh, 11.45 when, or 11.30 when I leave to go eat with friends. Um, I started uh, reading this girl, oh yeah that's Girl Taken. So the first one was Girl, what? That I told you was good? Girl Alone. Girl Taken is the one that I did not finish because of the voice thing. And then, um, so Thursday I met my friends for lunch at this place called Chicken Salad Chick. Then we went, oh, I went to Walmart. And that night I went out to dinner. My, my husband and a friend and I went over to our pastor's house for dinner. Um, they were making us catfish tacos because he was bragging about how good his fish tacos were. So. <laughs> so we uh, we're like, well, put your money where your you know, put your money where your mouth is, dude. Back up that claim. So he did. He invited us over, and his catfish tacos were to die for. So yep, he was right. He made the best tacos I've had in a long time, if not ever. <laughs> and um, then that night we watched um, Broken Wood, which is a show based out of New Zealand. And I love their um, their accents are very different than the um, 
then uh, Australia, New Zealand's accents are so different. I like the way they pronounce certain words. It makes me laugh. On Friday, uh, I did my normal admin work, and Fridays I do a lot of in-depth into reader groups, go in and interact in reader groups so that I can, you know, get to talk to the readers. Um, and by reader groups, I mean those groups in Facebook um, that are based, you know, they have like historical romance groups, um, Scottish romance groups, uh, Kindle, um, Kindle Unlimited groups, and, you know, there's a lot of different reader groups that I am a member of so I make sure and visit all those. I Did I finish my edits to say no I did not. I worked on my edits again. Um, I had to rewrite, the, pretty much rewrite this book. <laughs> I had to go, well I went back, was it the next week? I'm trying to remember. No, I had a hair color appointment that day. And then after that I um, cooked some pasta. It came out so good. And then um, watched the Great American Baking Show. We binged it, hubby and I. It was really good. It was cute. And then um, after that was over, we watched more Broken Wood. On Saturday, I slept in. And uh, this Saturday, I was going to pretty much hang out at home for most of the day because, you know, usually almost every Saturday I have something going on. And I did have book club this day, but it wasn't until 6 o'clock in the evening. So that meant that I had all, you know, all day to do whatever. And I also did not make plans because I knew I was going to be working on these darn edits. So I did do that. So um, it was a pretty good, I'm trying to remember if, yeah, it was, the weather was really nice this day. I, summer does not kick in in Georgia this year until June. And that is unheard of. Usually by May, you're dying of the heat stroke. But the Weather has been so nice. My uh, my dog is scratching at the door, but I'm trying to ignore him. So because the weather was so nice, we took the little pup, the puppy. He's just learning to walk on a leash. So we took him and the older dog out for a walk. The, the old dog is the one that's scratching on the door right now. He wants me to let him out. But then if he's um outside and I close the door, then he scratches wanting to get in. It's like you can't win. Um, yeah, did some more edits and then went to this... A restaurant called Two Boys uh, Pizza. That's um, they do Greek food and they do Italian. Oh my gosh! I had the best Greek salad ever. No, I didn't. I had a gyro. I'm thinking of the Greek salad because I called in and picked one up yesterday. No, that day I had a gyro. It was amazing. And then watched Will Trent that night. Sunday was a regular day. Regular stuff that we do every Sunday. Went to um church service what are you doing went to work so he just stared at me like what <laughs> oh god dogs are funny oh anyway i went to church service i had info desk duty i'm sorry if you guys hear that now he's kicking his bowl around he is a brat so <laughs> um yeah, and I kind of moved that stuff around because I was trying to get it into boxes that fit. So after info desk duty, we went to California Dreaming and had um, uh, my birthday lunch because my birthday was the next day. And so I got presents and a yummy salad and then I came home and did some planning and watched TV. Oh, gosh. Okay, so now I am putting it back into the binder so you guys can see what the spread looks like. And it looks really cute. I like the way it turned out um it is uh pretty and very pink <laughs> so on the sidebar i am putting the month of may and then i put um the two things that i had fun with and so it was um my birthday stuff and also the um that my aunt was visiting thanks for watching talk to you soon bye